Welcome to another installment of the Mastercam Studio at Prototech. This exclusive video series features the exceptional functionality found only within Mastercam, the number one most widely used cam software in the world. Here's the topic of today's video. Today we're going to take a deep dive into multi-axis DeBurr and see what the 2023 Mastercam enhancements have done to the DeBurr toolpath to make it that much better of a toolpath to use. Let's go ahead and take a look at my part on the screen. So on my part here, we're going to focus in on this one green edge on my part. Now, what I really want to do is I want to break that edge. Now, previous to 2023, this was easily done, but the limitation I had was I had to use a ball end mill or a lollipop mill. So let's go ahead and take a look at that situation um, as we had it previous to 2023. So in the multi-axis DeBurr tool path, the cut pattern here is going to have your machining geometries. Now, one thing that I've learned is it's almost easiest just to pick your whole part when you're doing this, even though you only want to machine one edge. So I have the whole part selected here. Edge definition. Now we have two options, user defined or auto detect. Um, auto detect um, kind of is an automatic detection tool. It will work, but it typically doesn't give you the results potentially you would want. So I do recommend user defined every time I'm doing this. Under user defined, I'll have user defined edges. So if I go ahead and I have my chain picked on where I want to apply that chamfer on there. Um, avoidance geometries is below there, so if you do have something you need to avoid, uh, you can always pick them with the selections there and uh, your toolpath will avoid that as you would expect. And then edge shape. So we're going to have a constant width, uh, constant depth, so you're going to have multiple options here to pick from. In this case here, I want to put a 35 thousandths edge break on this part. Uh, the inner corners, you can trim or relief these. Just going to give you a little bit different uh, behavior in the corners of this toolpath, if you would. And then number of cuts along edges. Uh, we can do flats or we can do rounds. So if you want to put a radius on the edges, you can, or you can put flats on there. Now, one thing that we can do is we can get an actual flat on there or we can get an actual radius on there by giving it um, number of cuts along edges. Right now I have one and I'm going to leave it there just for now so we can see what we get for an example here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this and using a ball and mill, we're getting what we would expect here. Now, as this cuts along here, really what I'm what I'm getting is I'm I'm breaking the edge, but I'm gaining two more sharp edges on both sides. So this wasn't the most efficient way to do this unless you just wanted an edge break. Now, once again, like I stated, I could get an actual edge on here if I did multiple passes along there, but multiple passes is going to create some more cycle time and a lot more tool motion that potentially we wouldn't want in this case. So let's go ahead and take a look at what changes they made in 2023 to really make this the ultimate deburring tool path in Mastercam. So now in Mastercam, now we can go ahead and we can use any tool we want. So previous to this, once again, we were limited to round tools, a ball and mill or a lollipop tool. Now we can grab whatever we want. So for this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a flat end mill, which we couldn't do before. We could always uh, put an edge on there, that type, but we'd had to go to a different tool path and do multiple uh, parameter sets to get this result. So I'm gonna grab this flat end mill and we're gonna take a look at this tool path. So the same exact tool path, uh, applying this along the same edge, and we're going to see the results in back plot. So now what I have is I have a flat tool coming down. In Master Cam will figure this out for us, uh, dependent on what tool we pick. And our tool path is going to go ahead and apply that cut along that edge. Now one thing you're going to notice here is a limitation. So if I go any farther with this tool path the way it is set, I'm going to collide with that part. And Master Cam is smart enough to know that I can't do that. So what it does is it retracts, and it comes back in, to do the other edge. Now, potentially that's an issue, right? I would have to come in and attack it, maybe possibly a different angle, or think of a different process to get this edge chamfered. Now, this is the beauty of 2023's enhancement. I'm not only limited to flat end mills, but what I can do is I can go to the same cut here, and now I can go and look at a taper mill. So if I go and look at a tapered end mill, now I have a, a tool with 12 degree angle on it. So now maybe this, just by changing up a tool, can get a full cut along that edge. So if I go ahead and finish this off and we look at this, 
Now look at our cut now. Even though that's a 12 degree tool, Mastercam still took care of everything for me. So all I have to do is pick an edge. And now I can go ahead and I can run this tool along there. Now with the extra clearances here, I am getting a full cut all the way around here, saving me precious cycle time and making it very easy to get the full edge finished like I want. Now another cool function to this is they added in our tool axis control, they did a tool contact point. So now the tool contact point sitting on the bottom here will allow me to determine where I actually want to put that cut on the flutes of that tool. 0% would be the tip and 100% would be on the top of the flutes. So this was going to allow you to move the tool around, maybe to avoid some fixturing or to maybe better get your surface feed a minute more closer to the actual diameter that it's calculated off of. So many uses here, and you can go ahead and play with that to see the different cuts you'll get. It's just gonna move it up or down that flute for you. Now, this doesn't fully eliminate um, a lollipop mill. So where are the situations where we can still get into a lollipop? Are these intersecting holes. Now these intersecting holes have always been tricky to deburr, uh, but them days are gone with multi-axis deburr. So here I have a intersecting hole that I'm going to drive it along the line here. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna go to the tool path here. Once again, I selected the upper half here and my user defined edge, I just went and simply picked that interior uh, chain inside of there using our, our edge uh, chaining methods. And I said, give me a constant width of 10 thou with one pass. So if I look at this, I'm going to a normal tool line, which I already have picked in there. And now this is gonna give me a great tool path for deburring all these hard to get at intersecting holes. So if I go ahead and back plot this, you'll see that my lollipop mill is coming in here and I'm getting a nice edge break all the way around that intersecting hole, which are very hard holes to figure out any calculation with. And I get a very clean uh, tool path motion with that. So lollipop mill still has a place, um, but with the new options in 2023, um, it's an absolute time saver and time equals money in Mastercam. So if we can cut some time off, um, that's gonna be better off for everybody. So, you know, go back. If you're using the deep bird tool path, and try these new uh, new tool options as far as flat end mills, tapered end mills, really whatever you want to use. And uh, you know, and you'll notice the difference with time savings and programming ease. Thanks for watching our video, and I hope you can check our YouTube channel for more informational Mastercam videos that we're making here monthly. And as always, for the best support and the best training in the market, contact Prototech, and that'll help you make better parts faster. And thanks.